Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to revisit Google Glass. Of course, this is the Explorer Edition 2.0, the second revision of Glass, the one that I purchased last year and shared with all of you. A lot of potential for a product like this, yes, very expensive at $1,500 US dollars plus applicable taxes, but the potential to get something like this, really a piece of the future, in my opinion, still, despite Google's plans to kind of rehash the project and shift things towards other interests rather than consumer sales, which has always made the most sense to me personally, I wanted to at least give all of you an update on my personal experience with the product. So for those of you unfamiliar, uh, you've got that prism right there that sits in front of your right eye, allows you essentially to hands-free get access to a tremendous amount of information. It pairs up with your Android smartphone, uh, gesture controls, all built into the side panel of this, as is the radio, essentially the innards of a smartphone, a smartphone from several years ago. Uh, Google did actually refresh this version of Glass, their last revision, uh, since they announced that they would basically be ending uh, sales to at least consumers directly, and that was really just an expansion of the internal storage. Uh, in terms of my experience, really this was an amazing and still is an amazing product, but I'm revisiting it today because when I went to use it recently, it was dead. I was one month out of warranty. Google was pretty good about making sure that they would get out another uh, pair to me, so I'm in the process of going through the RMA, another reason to update all of you on this product. And essentially, for those of you unfamiliar, you've got a basically best-in-class, not necessarily quality, but point of view camera ever made uh, because it literally is giving the point of view of your right eye. In addition to that, that prism that I mentioned before simulates about, I believe it's a 25 inch display in terms of what it will feel like in use without distracting you because the idea is that you look up rather than uh, completely distracting you uh, so you don't lose uh, traditional vision, line of sight, uh, even though it's not recommended to drive with a product like this, you could see why navigation, things of that nature, uh, would, I think it would be an aid for the most part, especially compared to when you think about looking down at navigation in a vehicle. Uh, but where it becomes dangerous is the fact that it will allow you to respond to text and things of that nature. And the last thing we need is another way for people to read text. Granted, uh, responding is via voice, which is definitely... Uh, more advantageous than actually using uh, a phone or something else that's going to be yet another level of distraction. I don't endorse any texting, uh, even calling at this point. I mean, with the quality of some of you know the drivers on the road, the last thing they need is yet another distraction. But in a world that is certainly imperfect, uh, Glass did give quite a bit of hope of where things might eventually go, especially for a first, even though this was second generation, truly a first gen concept, proof of concept, and then actually being able to do all of the things uh, that you expected it to. Granted, at 1500 as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, very expensive early adopter. That's why they referred to it as an Explorer edition, pretty much beta stamped right on the box. Uh, but I can tell you that from a standpoint of being able to get quick access to information, uh, battery life, not so great. In fact, my glass that you're looking at right here uh, one of my chief uh, interests with it was to create a dedicated channel to doing unboxings at the very least in a first person point of view. Of course, that never happened because the battery life when recording video on this was terrible. Uh, Google always said you should be able to get roughly 45 minutes. Uh, I really never got past 15 to 20 and that's a dedicated video not using it to essentially do anything other than that. So it's not like I drained the battery texting, getting navigation, doing searches, uh, none of those things, uh, and the limited browsing of the web that you can do with it as well. But it's really amazing the number of feeds and the applications uh, that have expanded over time with the Glass project to certainly affirm that there is a market for it. Unfortunately, Google was not able to actually find that market. Uh, so today isn't about going over buttons. Uh, or talking about what it can or cannot do, but really focusing on the fact that it was a great concept, but essentially a failure at the end of the day, which is unfortunate. Uh, I do think we will end up seeing this in the future in another capacity, or at least uh, corporations. There are 
so many different uses that I can think of that would be practical. Um, even at the consumer level, I mean, when you think about something as simple as putting together a piece of IKEA furniture, this may sound absurd, and certainly at this price point it would be, if you had a device like this with the instructions in front of your face, hand free, hands free, excuse me, that would be guiding you through putting together that piece of furniture, that chair, that uh, upright bike, whatever piece of exercise equipment that so many of us do at one point or another, that in itself is an incredible application and that just scratches the surface, teaching classes, uh, giving people a point of view in life that really was no, was not able to be achieved otherwise. Uh, with regard to the stigma associated with wearing these, I can tell you just about everywhere I went with these, people looked at me like I either had an impairment of some sort or I was simply crazy. Uh, but anybody who purchased glass certainly wasn't worried about what people would think and whether or not they'd be referred to as a glass hole. Um, because after all, this is really a piece of the future that you were able to get in the present. And while many will continue to say that it's really just a GoPro mounted to your head, there was a brain here, still is one, and I imagine we will see down the road a rebirth of this product at the consumer level, but at a feasible price point, more finished look, and something that's far more accommodating uh, to people who require prescription lenses. Granted, Google did eventually launch uh, frames for this, uh, but a person like myself who relies on glasses daily as opposed to contacts, I wasn't going to change my lifestyle in order to use glass. Now, the uh, micro USB port right here uh, used for charging as well as data transfer, even though this actively backs up all of your photos and video in real time, or at least it attempts to, which sometimes worked for me, other times not so much, uh, you also do have audio output. And Google claimed that it was silent. Uh, no one around you would be able to hear it. Uh, because essentially it would be working with uh, your bone structure in order to use vibrations and deliver the audio in a silent fashion. Well, that's not really true. They included an earbud in order to really uh, take it to the next level and ensure that you had privacy when using this because if you were using it and didn't want people to hear your conversation or the music you were listening to, there really was no way around it. There would be some very quiet music playing no matter what you did with it. Uh, as far as adjusting the prism, pretty easy, and that was really the way of finding the sweet spot for every user individually. Uh, but again, for me personally, uh, there was so much potential here, and yet uh, it didn't live up to it. And at the price point, I really feel like Google hasn't necessarily done the right thing for consumers like myself, who really ended up with not only something that collected dust, but at the end of the day, when I went to power it up after maybe not using it for a number of months, uh, again, it was completely dead. So they have been good about getting out of replacement, but really under the predication of, uh, or the premise that I've never done a replacement. So that tells you something about how many replacements some customers have done, as opposed to myself. And that really seems to be more of the reason they're making an exception. But nonetheless, it's rare that a company will make an exception on such an expensive product, even if it is a developer type or beta type uh, experience, especially a big corporation like Google. So it's a nice concession to see that they're aware that I took a risk on them and hopefully they'll try to make good on the experience. Of course, I don't expect or anticipate uh, any great improvement, even though they'll be giving me, at least to my understanding, the newer version, which does have greater storage capacity, flash storage uh, for pictures and video. and there's no question the host of applications, as I mentioned before, has grown and it really is one of the coolest pieces of tech that I've ever had the pleasure of playing with. The problem was it really was also one of the least practical uh, and I think that is where it hit the wall between that and pricing. So much potential could only go so far at $1,500, US especially in the experimental form that this product was delivered. So while packaging was nice, I mean, not having the frames at launch was huge. I mean, to only give me sunglasses, what could I do with these? As opposed to if Google had given me actual frame options day one. Now, I'm not saying I would have wanted to wear these all the time, but they I certainly would have been more prone to doing so as opposed to having to change my lifestyle. So Google, kudos for pushing the envelope. This is what tech companies are supposed to do, especially leaders like Google. Uh, on the other hand, the pullback, the withdrawal from the consumer market, and basically, in a sense, washing their hands from customers like myself who are even YouTubers uh, that 
are indirectly a part of the company as far as I'm concerned. It's sad. It's unfortunate. I'm not saying they should be offering me a refund, but if anybody's listening, it wouldn't be a terrible thing. And that's not because I'm disappointed with the product, but it's more that it just has simply failed. And I don't know how, I mean, it's certainly fair for customers to take the risk. We do that with any piece of electronics that we buy on a regular basis that our review, whether we're talking about cameras, tablets, phones, computers, uh, whatever it may be. Um, so it is an inherent vice when it comes to technology. Uh, but to be finished with a project so quickly when Google clearly has enough capital to have continued to try to make this a consumer product, bring down the price point, improve camera quality, processor performance, all of those things. It's just that to me is the failure at the personal level to the consumer to continue to deliver on a product, again, that had the potential to be game-changing and still likely will be, but no longer at the consumer level, rather at the commercial or corporate level where practical application for teaching employees, uh, this thing is just perfect for that sort of environment. And you could see how easily also this could end up on many different police forces with what's gone on, uh, not only over the course of the year, but how about American history? Uh, so with all of the talk of, uh, you know, on-body cameras for police officers, I don't know why Google isn't pushing something like this in a reduced form doesn't need to have the uh, prism for the screen, but why not give police extra capability, functionality? I mean, they'd, in theory, be able to maybe pull a license plate instantaneously without even having to go back to the patrol car. Uh, you see where I'm going with this. They have the ability to clearly uh, be capturing whatever they're on duty. Battery life, certainly an issue, but I don't see why something couldn't be developed and order numbers wouldn't be a problem if we're talking about uh, fulfilling the requirements or the needs of, you know, the police force state by state, city by city throughout America, if that's the direction things are going, which they are here now, at least on a low level uh, in the New York metro area, as well as many other states, in order to ensure not just that police are doing the right thing, but of course that uh, citizens are in order. It's for both parties benefit, in my opinion. Uh, rather than an invasion of privacy. But I'm not getting into that. Just another really practical application that I see for Glass that, I don't know, maybe the people at Google have not seen, or thought of, or realized, which to me is shocking. Maybe they're in the process of actually putting that together. Uh, but overall, great concept, solid execution. Certainly could have been better, but again, credit needs to be given where it's due. Uh, but at the end of the day, walking away from it and walking away from all of those early adopters certainly does not leave a good taste in one's mouth. Even if they are willing to look uh, beyond the fact that I'm a month out of warranty, I don't see that as uh, any tremendous gift uh, or benefit uh, as someone who took on glass with the hope of actually extending what I offered all of you here on YouTube with a unique and new perspective, which unfortunately, because of the battery life limitations and uh, storage capacity limitations, I really could never deliver on. Uh, but despite not being able to deliver on that, it still did everything that it promised. And really, uh, as I mentioned, I enjoyed every moment that I got to spend with it while it worked, that being the key part of this uh, revisiting of really an amazing product that unfortunately is slowly vanishing. Uh, but wanted to share it with all of you, those who had interest, were curious what happened over the year with this. Um, I gave it a shot, and uh, I did it really for the viewers, not for myself personally. Uh, this did, this was something that I purchased on my own, as many of you know. And uh, in retrospect, I've already mentioned something like the Galaxy VR Oculus headset, it, the Gear VR, is in many ways superior. Clearly, completely different products, but when you look at the price and what it delivers in terms of experience, glass is unique, so is that, but... It's just evidence right there of where Google uh, started on the wrong foot with pricing and really marketing, and then, of course, abandoning ship. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And, of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.